everyone, welcome to the Villa Together podcast. Uh, today, I've got a special episode. I'm joined by a special guest, which is Mr. Mark Rowley of Iconic Sporting Moments. So, Mark, how are we doing? How are you doing? Yeah, good, Chris. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, no problem. So, um, so I've got Mark on today, two reasons. Um, obviously, one of them being he's a Villa fan. The other reason being his business, which personally I think is fantastic. And I think a lot of Villa fans will like this. Um, so if you just want to kind of just a, a brief overview of what your, your business is, um, maybe the origins of it as well, if you like, and just kind of talk what, exactly what it is that you do. Um, and then we'll go through some examples, etc. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, the business is effectively short and sweet is designing um, sports inspired posters. So um, I think if everybody kind of sits there and thinks, well, have I got a moment in sport, whether that's football, cricket, NFL, what, whatever your sport may be, that really means something to you. We can all sit there and think, yeah, I, I can remember that. Uh, and I think um, the, 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 the key part around these posters and, and the idea and the concept behind it was to think, right, how do we bring those moments back to life for people? So um, really it came about <laughs> during lockdown, a couple of, a couple of, things I sat there my dad is 70 this year last week actually and I was thinking what am I going to buy my dad big Villa fan big England fan loves his football kind of having a look around on the internet and, and I couldn't find anything really that I thought um you know what 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 can I get him and there's a lot of the same kind of things all good quality stuff you know but nothing really that that jumped out and then I was having a chat with my mates in lockdown sat in the garden you know obviously social distancing as we as we do um, and we were talking about a time when um, David Beckham scored that free kick against Greece and, and we were all sat in a bar in Cyprus, probably five, six, seven points in and can remember every, every free kick he was taking wasn't, didn't go in and we were sitting there going, it's got to be this one, it's got to be this one and the moment you put it in, you know, the celebrations and, and we were all sat in the garden thinking, do you remember that? And I thought, there's nothing, there isn't anything that, that I can get that I could stick on my wall or my mates could have on the wall or I could give to my dad that show me that and bring those emotions uh, and kind of memories back other than if I sit there and type it in on YouTube. So that, that was it really. I just thought, you know, I'm going to have a go at this myself. Um, did graphic design at college a long, long time ago. Yeah. And just thought, you know, I'll give it a go. What have I got to lose? Um just started putting some design concepts together, sharing them with people and, and got a good response. So really that's what it's about. It's, you know, any, any sport, anybody's moment, whether that, whether that's kind of Premier League, whether it's non-league or, or even amateur stuff, you know, if you've scored a goal yourself, it, you know, I can do a design for you. And, and, the, and the objective is to bring those emotions and, and memories back for you. So yeah, in a nutshell, that's what we're about. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I noticed your stuff on, on Facebook or Instagram, whichever it was. And like I said to you, I was like, wow, that's amazing. And 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 my second thought was, Villa fans would love this. Yeah. Um, the, the Grealish goal against um, Man United last year, Old Trafford, great goal. And it's like the memories. And then obviously, this season, because of how well we're doing... There's, the, yeah. there's more memories kind of coming out from the season. You know, you remember those kind of things, don't you? The great goals, the great wins. And obviously there's, you know, like Ollie Watkins scoring a hat-trick against Liverpool. And you, you've you've kind of you've reproduced, um, as you've done gra graphically, reproduced visually the memories from that game, Ollie Watkins' mm -hmm. hat-trick, which are amazing. I think people as well, obviously we love to, on social media, repost videos, do you remember this and stuff like that? And I think sometimes it's it's just amazing. Like, like, like we've said about growing up, you get you get trophies and you get things like that, and they are memories. But these days, I think sometimes your memories are better when you can visually remember them, visually see them, whether it be a video or a picture or something like that. And yeah. I feel that these are just encapsulate everything that, that a football fan loves, and not just a football fan, sports fans as well. Um, I've, I've seen the Ben Stokes one. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm a big cricket fan myself and obviously that that moment that um you know <laughs> that that was just amazing you know Ben Stokes <laughs> in the in the World Cup final and things like that and I think sometimes you know I could just imagine being sat down looking up and seeing things like that and it's just that's amazing that is and like you say 
about your dad and giving him a present. You know, I know loads of people that I could give them, you know, who are different fans, give them that and they would love it because it's it's just one of those things I think that sports fans do love because it, it's that nostalgia. We um, we did a podcast a number of weeks ago before the season started and one of the things we spoke about was nostalgia. So talk about, you know, old programmes, talking about what you miss from, from the games, obviously not being able yeah. to go to the games. And I think there will be, especially at this moment in time, there will be moments that people will will see on TV um, because they can't go to the games. And it's a great memory. That's a great goal, that is. And I think people do remember them more from seeing them visually in person, being at the stadium, seeing that goal. And I think this kind of adds to that because we might see it on the TV. Having that, you know, next to me in my office or whatever it is, to look at it, I'd be like, it just brings those feels back. And I think even yeah. from not being able to be there for it, it just adds to that. that. So... It's fantastic. So for, for anyone watching this, um, you know, it's really, these these are brilliant. And when you see them, I think, you you know, you, you're going to be blown away. They're fantastic, what Mark has done here. And like I say, that the nostalgia and the feels that you get, not just Aston Villa fans, as we said, um, you, you know, you could pretty much do anything. One of the things you mentioned as well was about the amateur goals. So there's going to be lots of people who, who, who will watch this and think, yeah, you know, my son plays football. And those goals, you can recreate them, can't you, as, as you have Yeah, them. absolutely. Yeah, it can be anything. Uh, football, rugby, uh, cricket, you know. Um, as I say, that, that came from my, uh, the, the amateur thing. My, my mate's uh, son, seven, scored his first goal. He, he, even by his own admission, he's not the best player in the, in the team. I think they played 10 games and he'd not scored. Uh, and he got an opportunity and he, and he, and he scored. And there was a little... There's a little quote somebody gave to him saying, "Yeah, yes, Thomas, top bin. And that stuck with him. Yeah. That stuck with Thomas. And he said, oh, you know, can you do that for me? I, I want that on his wall. Subsequently, then he's asked, he scored a few more goals and he wants every one. I'm like, yeah, yeah where, where are you going to put them all, <laughs> Matt? Really but, uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it just, just it don't have to be football. Uh, it can be, can be any kind of, any sport can, can pretty much do, do most things or we'll, we'll give it a go and see how it comes out. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, those ones, the amateur ones, um, <laughs> I think those, they're just, I, I would personally, you know, if I, if I went and played football now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 32, I went and played football, <laughs> like, if, I, if I scored, I'd want one of them for me because it'd be an yeah. iconic, iconic moment. And that's, that's, what it, that's what it is, the name of the business, as it kind of shows, it reflects that. And I think, especially for kids, um, you know, I think they'd love that because, it's, you know, rather than looking at, uh, you know, a video of it, because at amateur games, how often do these things kind of get recorded? Um, I know everyone has a phone, everyone has decent quality phones, yeah. but how often are these goals recorded? And sometimes it just won't happen. So to have that visual reminder, I think yeah. it's fantastic. So to add that element in it is brilliant. And like I said, my son's just getting into football. So when he scores his first goal... I'll be coming to you and telling you. Yeah, yeah. Get him up front, mate. Taking penalties as well. Yeah, yeah. Guy was bombing down the right <laughs> wing. The goalkeeper was on the edge of the 18 at the time. There was two holding midfielders. All the details <laughs> right on there. Um, but yeah, I think it's fantastic. So I think you've got um, a few examples uh, you just want to show us on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you, any, any particular way where you want to go first? Should we start? Um, should we go back in history, I suppose, as a Villa fan? You know, yeah. We, we, I don't think there's anybody that doesn't know this and, and we sing about it every week. So, um, <laughs> so this is uh, Peter With. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah, look yeah. at I, I love that. I, I love that. the quote at the bottom as well. The quotes, I think, it's, it's almost like you could, you could read that, you could look at that and you could close your eyes and you could visualise it. Yeah. I think it just it just invokes all those kind of memories, and that's what it's all about. Absolutely. So um, that, those are the words that uh, are on the, the banner on the north stand. You know, loads of us who've seen uh, the black and white images, or have got that that kit with the stripes down. Yeah, uh, we had we had a replica, didn't we, a few years ago? We we went back and had that as an away kit. So. Um, yeah, I think it doesn't matter what age you are, you know, whether you were about when watching that, I think I was four when that, 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 was, that game was on, or, you know, whether you were a bit, a bit younger, we sing about it every week, don't we? It's part of our history, probably the most important part of our history, so, yeah, good one to start with. Yeah, love that. Um, love that. The other one, uh, I think, 
I'll get, I'll get, I'll get some of the, uh, get my favourites in first. Well, they're all my favourites, but um, yes, Scottish Cafu. I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> Every time you watch it, uh, I still rub my eyes. Is that is that Alan Hutton that's just scored that? Yeah. So uh, again, just uh, an amazing memory. I, I remember I was in the Holt end uh, watching that uh, quite quite low down in the whole end so like had a real strange view of it uh just kept seeing it going and going and then the scenes afterwards well says it all and uh Hutton himself has uh like there's a few people posted this after they bought it uh and I don't know if Alan's getting sick of the, the amount of times he keeps getting tagged in but fair play to him he keeps uh giving it the thumbs up every time I've tried to get him to sign a few but uh so far he's not responded but I'll, I'll keep I'll keep that in. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll keep pestering him. He'll do it eventually. Yeah. But but you can see just you know for people watching as you can see the light shining off the off the images. Obviously, could you not see it? Yeah, you so you can see that you can no no I mean you can obviously you can see it. what I'm saying is the light shining off it reflects like the quality. Oh of, yeah, yeah. Of, of the product itself. Um, yeah, so that's a good point, actually. You probably didn't, I didn't cover that at the beginning. So in terms of the product, so these are all printed on. It, it probably won't mean a hell of a lot to people, but it's, they're on 250 GSM um, card. So what, what that is, is real kind of thick quality, glossy, finished paper. Um, and the printer that's used is, you know, I won't go into the spec of it, but, it, you know, it's top quality stuff. It's not like you know, doing it on my home printer, you know, these are yeah. professionally printed. So, yeah. um, yeah, hopefully that comes through a little bit as well. Yeah, I was, I was just, just um, mentioning that because you, you could just see the light reflecting off it. So, to show that it wasn't card, as in normal card or, or paper, it's it's proper top quality. So, it's durable, it's going to last. Um, you, you know, and obviously, just stuff like that just adds to, adds to the quality. Bit of a different colour for this one, you know, change it up a bit in the uh, in the away kit. Again, I mean, this guy's on fire at the moment, isn't he? And just what what a result for the Villa to be able to keep him. Um, and this goal uh, last season, I think I'm pretty sure it won goal of the season for the Villa, didn't it? Greenish against Man U last year. I should know. I think, I think he, probably, he did. I probably did. In all fairness, I think he did. We scored. Yeah, for, it was voted our goal of the season. So. Um, you know, it's just just class or all, all, all of it. Um and I think uh, you know, it's probably what spark started to spark all that interest around Jack if it wasn't there already. But yeah, thankfully we've been able to hold on to him. So yeah, people really like this one. Um Yeah, that that was the first one I noticed. I saw that and I was like, wow, I love that. That's brilliant. And also what I like, because obviously you've shown um shown a, a few there. And they with the different coloured backgrounds, obviously, to reflect the kit that we were wearing at that yeah. time, which I think is a nice touch because, again, it kind of, especially for the, the nostalgia, it invokes those memories of yeah. that's the kit they were wearing. It's the colours as well. It brings it all back. I think, it's, I, I think it's, you know, it's brilliant how just those small little details, I think, add, adds... Yeah. Extra and actually, that's, that's another good point you drew out there, Chris. So, so all of the colours, and again, not getting too technical, they're all colour matched to the exact... Um, specification of the kit colour so that if you were to put them next to the, the kit they're exactly the same and, and that, I don't just go right uh, claret and blue let's have them all the same they're, yeah. they're, they're exactly colour matches the kit and I suppose actually just leading on from that um, a lot a lot of people will probably think well why have you done this goal this was a this was a bit of a self-indulgent so just just the, on the kits actually yeah. Um, so this is Benito Carboni, um, and and some people will think, well, wasn't our greatest player, but this is one of my personal favourite ever goals. Um, I really liked Carboni um, and his time at the Villa. Um, I, was, I thought he was, I thought he was brilliant, and I just remember this. So this is against Leeds in the FA Cup in two thousand, um, and it, and he hit it um, towards the whole end. So he's scoring towards the whole end. I was sat right behind that, and I just. Just eating on the point, I always remember celebrating that, like, like we won the World Cup. I don't know why. I just, I just thought it was such a good goal. So, uh, yeah. And uh, he he'd been liking some of the stuff on on Instagram, Carboni. I think he's assistant manager for Azerbaijan or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, it, might, it might be the it might even be the manager. I'm not might sure. be the manager. Yeah, might yeah, have got yeah. that wrong actually. But um, 
Yeah, just love that one myself, really, just <laughs> personally. But, yeah, um, yeah I, that... I, I remember that because I think we, we were 2 0 down against Leeds, weren't we, in the, in the FA Cup, and we came back to win 3 2. Um, That's the one. I think, did Carbone get a hat trick, possibly? I think he got a hat trick, yeah. And um, Merson got, uh, had a clash. I can't remember the player he had a clash with, and he had uh, he he got, cut yeah, his eye. Yeah. But Merson he, was. Yeah, he immense. was brilliant that day when he was fantastic. Yeah. I remember because he, he got a boot in the face, setting up one of Carbone's goals. He kind of was brave and dived, in, dived yeah. in to nod it in and across to Carbone, he put it in. But yeah, I remember, I remember that game. It was fantastic. He was that good, Merson, I think, that because I because I read when recreating these, I uh, and not just from memory, I just go, go back, do some research, look at the match reports, and then start looking at the goal and thinking, how is it going to come together? Yeah. But you read the match reports about this game and Carboni scored a hat-trick and he, it's almost like a, a bit of a nod that, yeah, we scored a hat-trick. It's all about Merson. How good Merson was that game, yeah. Yeah, I remember his contact. But, but again, obviously, with that one, you got the claret and blue stripes to reflect the kit that we were wearing that day. Yeah, that's what the kit was that day, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, I'll do a couple more. Um, a couple more Villa ones and then I can show you some of us. But, uh, I mean, can't, can't uh, do Villa posters and not have this guy. Uh, probably the greatest, in my opinion, greatest goal in the Premier League history ever. Um, what a goal. What a goal. What a goal. Um, and, the, and, and it was in the first season of the Premiership as well. Um, and I was looking at this, um, looking back at the match of the day goals of the season. And Villa had, I think there was nine entries for match of the day goal of the season, or it might have been ten. And four of them were Villa goals. That, and, and two of them were Atkinson's. But this one... But um, yeah, what what a player! Um, but again, you know, the, you know the, the, like the what you've got at the bottom, the commentary and stuff like that. I love that. I, I'm kind of a guy that would absolutely love that. You remember the kind of things, and, and a, a lot of people commented about um, two years ago when we were in the championship. The, the guy who comment who was the commentator for a lot of our games, I think his name is Daniel Mann, possibly, and he was an absolutely fantastic commentator. And there's a lot of things that he mentioned, like when we got promoted and it was, you know, the, the kind of things that he said about us being back, the commentary from the Sheffield United game, stuff like that. And obviously, when you when you look back at these games, like the goals that you're showing us, again, the same as with Alan Hutton, with this one as well, even though it was so many years ago, don't you, that the memory of that, it's just, it just brings it all back. It's just, it's just fantastic. I love it. It's, it's another really nice touch. You know, you could have had just a picture of the goal, but then add an else the kit, the kit, the colour of the kit to go with it, the commentary and, and those kind of things. I, I think they're absolutely brilliant. And obviously that one, uh, what a goal. The only thing I'm missing here is the guy with the umbrella at the end. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I did I did think about putting him in. I've been trying to track him down on Facebook. <laughs> but I think he's st still about. But uh, yeah, yeah, that was a yeah, nice memory, that one. Yeah. Um, and then I'll just show you one more Villa one and then you can, you can have a look at some others. Um so this is a little bit different in terms of it's not just one goal. Um, it's, you know, Ollie Watkins' hat-trick against Liverpool a couple of weeks back. Um, so I just thought, you know, you can't, you can't do one for each of his three uh, individually. There's got, I need a way of yeah. getting everything on one poster because, you know, what, it, and the fact that it's a perfect hat-trick as well. Um, and the result. So, yeah, well, I'm really pleased with how this has come together. The fact that all three goals are on there. Haven't haven't got the commentary for each one, but what I've done is take a snippet from each of the the comment uh, the commentary for each of the goals. Yeah. Um, just to kind of bring that to life as well. But yeah, really pleased with that one. Yeah, no, that one's yeah, it's a really nice one. That is, especially with it kind of all put, fits together nicely. It's. Ollie Watkins getting his first goal turns into his first hat trick. It's a win against Liverpool, which is an absolutely fantastic victory, winning seven two. It all pieces together nicely. So yeah, really, really nice one that is. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Do you want? Do you want to have a look at a couple of England ones? Yeah. 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 Carry on. Then. Yeah. So for anyone else watching, obviously there are, there are people who who I interact with, people who watch who will be from other clubs. Um, and obviously Villa fans will also follow England as well. So obviously Mark's got his all-rounded other clubs, other sports, obviously England being one as well. So just going to show a few of them, but but is his show? And I think yeah, quality is, is top, top notch, but also the attention to detail, as we've shown with the different, um, the different kind of colours of the kits, 
the different styles of the kits are reflected in it and also the, the bits of commentary as well it's just nice and adds to that kind of nostalgia and all the feels that you get from these memories okay so i've got got three england ones just quickly show you so this is the one that started it all off um if you just remember what i was saying about sitting in the gardens this is the first one i did oh um, I, love, I love i love that with the uh because the kit that he's wearing obviously adds the red stripe down doesn't it that's it yeah 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 so yeah you have to incorporate that into it um but yeah that's just again one of those moments almost like where were you when Beckham scored that? I think everybody could remember where they were watching that or seeing that goal. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a good one. So, yeah. Um, this one was like really sad. So many requests for this, to do this. Um, so what this goal? is Paul Gascoigne against Scotland. What a goal that is, what a goal. Uh, and again, just, just uh, what a player. Um, but the memories of that, um, that competition, you know, Euro '96 was just it was just a roller coaster, wasn't it? And uh, I think probably summed up by the celebration at the end as well, the yeah. dentist chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah. I mean, I remember that goal. It was. I'd only just around that time, that a couple of years around that time, I just started getting into football. I think what what set me off was seeing Villa in the cup final um, in '94, Villa in the cup final '96, and obviously then. I was it, you know, properly into football around the time of Euro '96. So that is the first kind of tournament I remember, and that goal I just remember it. I was like, "Wow, what a goal! What's going on here?" And yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic. In terms of England goals, that's just that's up there, isn't it? Yeah, and then um, this one's going back a bit further, but um, it's like this, this was actually the first time I really started noticing football was World Cup '99, just collecting the stickers from Panini, but. Uh, <laughs> Again, yeah. again, quite a lot of people ask. So, so I do take custom requests. Um, you know, if people have got um, a specific goal that they want designed, um, you know, contact me, get in touch. Um, we can have a chat about it uh, and, and see if we can create it. So this this was something that a few people asked for. Um, so this was Lineker equalising against uh, West Germany, as it was then, in, uh, in the World Cup in 1990. Um, yeah. Um, and then, so I just, uh, so probably something that I didn't mention um, is that these come in all, so the ones I've been sharing are A3, so, but these all come in different sizes. So you've got A4, um, there's some A5, so they're all, all the sizes are customizable on the, um, on the shop. And they do go up to A2, but you wouldn't be able to get that in for, for today's purposes, but there's a few. <laughs> Few people who've got obviously quite a lot of wall space who have uh, they've had A2 ones. A few guys in Australia, a lot, lot of um, expat community as well. Quite, yeah. quite keen. Yeah, obviously on the on the website you can you can select the size, can't you? So you can kind of for the ones that are on there, as you say, you will take custom requests. But obviously for the ones that are on there. Um, you can choose them, choose the dimensions, add it to your basket, and then obviously away you go. So it's just, yeah, tick, ticks all the boxes. Um, yeah, they're brilliant. Just if you just have you got um, one to show that's that's one of the amateur ones that you've done. So yeah, so obviously Mark's mentioned um, some of the ones that he'll do custom made amateur um, kind of Sunday league goals. Um, it's got an example here. Yeah, can you see that? That one? Yeah. Yeah, so that was the guy I was on about. His lad scored the first goal. So he's, uh, I think he's seven. Um, and the, the quote at the bottom that uh, I think some of the parents started to talk to me about. So, um, yeah, real simplistic stuff, really. Just wanted to know what the who assisted the goal and how Tom scored the goal. Um, so I'd ask, I'd ask Matt to uh, draw out what the goal looked like and he came back with a diagram of all the runs the throw in you know from probably the last 10 minutes of the game was quite <laughs> no, don't, don't need that mate just who, who, who assisted it and how he scored the goal and then all the details around it um but yeah he's got that he's got that in his bedroom now uh unfortunately he's a blues fan and he's got it next to a Jude Bellingham picture which which no, is not from me oh, no. so we'll 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 have to excuse him but um yeah it's a nice touch really uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> like I, I said to you earlier about kind of those that kind of stuff, I, I'd have one for myself, but I think 
you know that that kind of stuff kids would like that but I, I think from the you know the people that I've played football with there would certainly be people who you know you might get a goal that someone scores that wins a cup it's an amateur cup it's Sunday league yeah might, but it's just a memory isn't it and, and like you say you can kind of you know you have it on the wall you look at it and straight away that visual representation of a fond memory is fantastic and I think with with memories in general obviously you know we, we, we're getting the memory from somewhere and technology these days people watch videos and stuff like that these days don't they really that's that's a lot of things but you can't always capture things on video on film so to yeah. in, in to you know a lot of stuff stored up here so for things like that a fond memory something you've taken part in a goal your first goal your son's first goal a goal that you scored to win a cup final or someone that you know scored to win a cup final because you know yeah like i said i'm 32 there's some of my mates i could get them goals that they've scored and give them and they would love it because it's just yeah. such a good memory of, I, th I think know. what they are is, sorry Chris I think what they are as well is they're good conversation starters yeah, yeah. as well yeah, so exactly. if you got them in your hall or in your dining room your bedroom or stuff and it's that you know you've got people around when we're allowed to do that again or you know you, you've got your kids looking at them uh, and it, it's just kind of like starts those conversations and then you know I'm sure you're the same as me. You, you start then, then it builds. And do you remember this goal? Who was playing in that thing? Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Remember where we went after? And it's, it's kind of all that, really. Um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, no, no. I appreciate the opportunity to, to show him, really, Chris. Thanks. Yeah, no worries. I think, like I said, it was, you know, I saw that Grealish one, it's fantastic. And then, you know, obviously you've been, it, 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 been, obviously you've been doing loads since, obviously, the Ollie Watkins, the hat trick one. Um, I just think the attention to detail is fantastic as you've shown the the different colours for the kits we were wearing because again that's something the colour it's the nostalgia invokes the memories um, just the, the little bits of commentary as well I think it's fantastic and people will remember that like you say it's a great conversation start you sat there with your mates oh remember that goal perfectly what a goal by Beckham yeah. you know, free kick things like that and then there you go it's fantastic and I think you know people like um, you know who might have I built a bar in my garden um, during lockdown. So, yeah. you know, that is something, <laughs> something like that, boom, stick it in the bar. It's something for people to look at. It's brilliant. They look good as well. You know, yeah. even though, even aside from, you know, people who might not be football fans, I know that my wife would be fine with, with me having one of them stuck somewhere because they look quality, they look good. Um, it's not like, you know, usual tacky kind of, I say usual, you know, a lot of football stuff sometimes <laughs> can, can look a bit, you know, tacky. I yeah. mean, not, not to us, but... To, to people who aren't football fans who don't necessarily like that kind of stuff but I think the quality is fantastic and people who have bars or man caves and things like that having them on the wall would be fantastic and they just look good and it's it's just it ticks all the boxes at and more yeah. fantastic um, if I so, uh, blowing my own trumpet I think just just to finish on there you can't if you, well, you can have a look but I think you'll struggle to find that unique design the way they're created anywhere else so you do yeah. see a lot of stuff that is fairly similar on Etsy or on the internet or not on the high street and a, and a lot of kind of minimalistic stylized silhouettes of players now celebrating yeah. but I'll, I'll be surprised if you find that so they're fairly unique as well you know there won't be many people that'll have them at the moment <laughs> yeah so for people um watching listening who want to go and buy one of these um so it's iconic sporting moments um what's what's your website so the website's uh, www.iconicsportingmoments.co.uk that takes you to a shop on etsy um and then uh, you can um there's i've also got two shops as well that take you to the main shop one's on instagram so that's at iconic sporting moment so without the S on the end, so Iconic Sporting Moment. Uh, and then there's a page on Facebook, which is the full full name again, I Iconic Sporting Moments with, with the S. I couldn't, somebody has stolen the name already on Instagram, so that's shorten it without the S. But uh, yeah, the main shots, uh, the, the www.iconicsportingmoments.co.uk. Yep, lovely. Yeah, um, so everyone listening, obviously you've seen that, you've seen the examples. If your son scored a goal or you want to see... Ross Barkley's screamer from, from last week against Leicester, well, it was the start of this week, wasn't it? Um, then obviously it marks your man for stuff like that. Um, obviously, before we go, um, you're, an, you're an Aston Villa fan? Yeah, yeah. 
So life. we've, as we've just seen with your Ollie Watkins poster, we started the season relatively well. I say relatively well, very well. <laughs> four, four, win, four wins from four, including the, the Ollie Watkins hat trick in the 7 2 win against Liverpool. Um, what are your thoughts and, and I suppose expectations on the season ahead? Um, where we could finish, what the kind of the dream could be for the team in terms of our the expectations and potentially the limits of this team at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's, that's a good question, actually. And I think having been a Villa fan, I think the first game was 1989. So I've seen the ups and downs of supporting this club. And as you say, you know, the start to the season has just been out of this world. Um, Per, you know, I'll be honest, at the end of last season, I, I was thinking, is Smith the right guy for this? Um, but, you know, we stayed up. I think he, he learned um, and developed the squad and, and the way we played, particularly after lockdown. And we seem to have just, you know, come back into this new season with with that structure and that shape and that settle. But added some flair and the, and the confidence that's going through the team. Um you know, I think at the moment, people probably used to look at us as a bit of an easy touch last season at times and thought, you know, we had some frailties at the back and we'd all, always give uh, people a chance. But this season, I think there'll be a def different mentality um, as, as playing against the Villa and, and we're dangerous uh, and we are well set up. I think yeah, it's Leeds tomorrow night, isn't it? You know, um, like, like I was just looking on the internet earlier and the game at their place last year and all the controversy around that. Yeah. Um, you know, what a shame it, it's not in front of a live crowd, but um, I think they'll be chomping at the bit to try and get one over us. Yeah. Um, but, but I, th I, you know, I think the confidence in terms of the team, then, then um, you know, the fans are confident. What a good time to be a Villa fan at the moment. And in terms of aspiration as well, you know, who knows? We, are, you know, less less the fans were probably sitting here a few years ago thinking the same, weren't they? No chance we would start the season well. But a lot, a lot about football is, um, you know, confidence and momentum as well, uh, and belief. And I think we've certainly got that. So if we can keep players fit um, and we can continue to play the way we are, then sky's the limit, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we mentioned the other day about. Um, how far we've come from the back end of last season. Uh, there was um, a stat I've used, I think I'll probably mention it every week I'm on the podcast about <laughs> before lockdown, um, we were the, conceded the most shots against us, so we were the worst in terms of shots against. Um, and then post lockdown, we were the fourth best. So there was only Liverpool, Man City and Wolves who were better in terms of shots conceded per game. So obviously that showed how we were improving defensively and as well I think it's not just defensively the, the back four back five but also the guys in front Douglas Louise added to that and then coming yeah. into this season we've, we've taken our form from the back end of last season which which was very good and we've added that quality haven't we obviously Ross Barkley Matty Cash Watkins Martinez Traore these guys they're all quality and they all, it all feel I feel like with all of them they can all add something so kind of going McGinn's almost like a new signing isn't he yeah, that, that's what exactly. I thought you know, having a full, fully fit John McGinn as well as all those players you've just mentioned, it makes yeah. massive, massive difference. Yeah, and it, it, as well as the experience, so everyone having that, I think before this season, um, you know, well, before last season, you're looking at, you know, Ming's had a handful of Premier League games, you know, El Mahamedi, I yeah. think, had the most amount of Premier League games out of everybody. I mean, even Grealish have probably only played about, I think, 60 odd games possibly probably, probably not even that many because obviously at the time we were in the Premier League when Greenwich was there he was a bit part player he was a youngster coming through so the experience yeah. wasn't there but everyone's better off for having a year's worth of Premier League experience under them obviously the new guys coming in apart from Martinez and Barkley the other three haven't got the Premier League experience but you know it's kind of you get that with everyone don't you not, you know yeah, yeah. time players with experience um, but yeah I think going forward it's going to be exciting obviously tomorrow's game is certainly going to be an interesting one especially with the kind of this newly found rivalry between us. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. so we'll see. But, um, you know, hopefully we can go five from five. But um, absolute massive thanks for coming on. Really appreciate, no, yeah, appreciate it. it. Um, so everyone, obviously, get on to iconicsportingmoments.co.uk. 
um, order stuff, if you want to get in touch with Mark, um, is there a way to get in touch with you? Is it best to speak, speak to you via social media? Is there an email address? Yeah, social media. You can uh, send us messages on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, there is a Twitter account as well. Um, you can contact me uh, via the, the shop. Um, there's, there's an email address, which is contact at iconicsportingmoments.com. Um, but yeah, you can find me on social media. Um, yeah, cheers, Chris. Really appreciate the time and up the villa. Yeah, definitely. I've been on the website. It's, uh, it's it's pretty easy to use if you want to order one that's on there. But obviously, as as Mark said, customizable. If there's a goal you like, whether it's a Villa goal, it could be another team. Obviously, not Birmingham City. Um, no. Other teams, England as well. <laughs> other sp other sports as well. Um, you know, cricket, NFL, anything like that. Um, Mark's a very talented guy, so he can kind of he can just get that sorted for you. Um, but a massive thanks for coming on. Um, get onto his website, his Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Have a look at his stuff. As we've shown on this video, it is top, top quality. Uh, but a many, many, many thank you. Uh, many thanks, thanks to Mark for coming on. Much appreciated. Uh, and a big thanks from everyone. We've been Villa together. And thank you very much. Speak soon.